Welcome to Buy Spares. In this video, we'll be showing how to identify an error code on a hot point or indesit washing machine. Important, before replacing a part in any electrical appliance, you must ensure that the appliance is first unplugged from the mains. Many machines may indicate an error code if the machine has a problem. This will usually be displayed either as a combination of lights regularly blinking on the front panel or a digital code of letters and a number. If you check this error number, it should indicate the area of the problem. Error codes are a guide and can mislead, but should be used to help look in the correct area to identify what is going wrong. If your machine does not have a digital display, there should be a group of four lights in a row. These will be lit in a pattern that can be read in binary. Reading from the right to the left, the four lights when lit is counted like this. Light 1 equals 1, light 2 equals 2, light 3 equals 4, light 4 equals 8. So if lights 1, 2 and 4 are lit, that shows error 11. And if lights 1 and 3 are lit, that shows error 5. Here are the typical error codes used in most hotpoint or indesit machines. There are a few exceptions for some early models, but this seems to be correct for nearly all the machines produced in the last 10 years. F01 is a module motor triac fault within the module. You may not have any main motor drive. F02 indicates a problem with motor jammed or a problem with the motor taco. This may result in the motor spinning to high speed and then stopping. F03 error indicates a problem with the NTC, the sensor for water temperature. Check the connections and replace if required. F04 pressure switch jammed on empty. Check for a blocked hose, faulty switch, connections or module. F05 indicates a problem with the pressure switch on full. Check the drain circuit as this is usually caused by debris in the pump. F06, this is not generally used but may be a programmer fault on older machines. F07 error is indicating a fault with the heater relay. If the heater is okay, a new board would be required. F08 error, heater relay. Check the heater, pressure switch and module connections. F09 error is indicating a faulty or corrupted memory or EEPROM chip and would either require reprogramming or possibly a new module. F10 error indicates the pressure switch is not sensing. Check connections on the switch and board. Then check the pressure switch is not blocked by detergent in the hose. F11 indicates a problem with the drain circuit. Check the pump, connections and wiring. F12 indicates the front control panel is not communicating with the main board. Check the plugs and wiring. Errors F13 to F15 relate to washer dryers. F13 indicates a high temperature rise while drying. Check for blocked airflow or a jammed stroke faulty fan motor. F14 code is no heat when drying. Check the elements and the cutouts on the dryer heater. F15 indicates you may have a dryer heater relay problem. F16 is not generally used on hotpoint or intersit machines. F17 indicates a problem in the door lock area. This could be the door lock, wiring or PCB. F18 error indicates a problem with the communication between PCBs. Check the plugs and wiring. If these are okay, it is likely to be the main module. Remember to use these errors as a guide to the area of the problem. If you have checked the fault code and it suggests a faulty module, it is worth pointing out that modules supplied by Hotpoint and Indesit are unprogrammed and will not work at all until they are programmed by using a smart card and reader. The card can only be used once and this with the reader and module may cost over £200. For this reason, if you need to replace the module, it may be cheaper to have a fixed price repair from Repair Care. For all the spares you need, visit www.buyspares.co.uk